Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another full scale fishing adventures episode. We're on the Murray, and the wind picked up overnight. And the surface session that I was going to have on a particular bank this morning had to change. So I've moved slightly further upstream to a bend out of the wind. There's some nice logs. I'm not sure, I'm undecided whether I should be fishing a crankbait early um, rather than surface, but I'm gonna stick with the surface. Thought what we'd do today is I'll just take you cod fishing for the day um, in this video. So we'll start with surface, we'll go subsurface during the day and then we'll finish up with another sur surface session in the uh, evening and what'll be, what'll be, and that's exactly how cod fishing is. So let's get to it. Wow, that's a lot of cormorants. Holy dooly. Look at them all. There's like a thousand of them. That is crazy. Oh my God. Wow, that's a lot of cormorants. Jeebus, imagine how many fish they eat. Still going. What? <laughs> Thousands of them. That is incredible. Still going. See them all the way down the back there too. That is insane. Many, many cormorants. Well, that is surface time done. Um, we're gonna move to subsurface now. You're probably wondering why I always fish surface morning and afternoon, even though it's a really low percentage, but I think there's been seven big top water bites in the boat over the last couple of years. Um, and they're the ones that I remember most. I'd much rather spend the mornings and evenings fishing surface, even, it is, even if it is for little result, because when it happens, it is just so spectacular. So we'll move to subsurface now, get a couple of things rigged up and start casting again. All right, so two very familiar baits. I've got the large spinner bait, big trailer, and also pimped up Dino 90. Dino 90 is great because it's easy to cast and easy to wind for long periods. Nice rattle. So with those two baits, um, I've got two different presentations. So I can fish deep um, and on the drop with a spinner bait, but then also um, slightly higher and roll through the snag differently with a um, Dino 90 and it's great to have two rods rigged with something like a spinnerbait and a crankbait simply because if you miss a fish, it gives you the opportunity to present something different quickly, which is a really good idea. Just starting by going back down to where I just cast the surface. Fishing back through it with a dyno, just to see whether it didn't get one interested that didn't want to eat the surface, but might eat a subsurface. <laughs> Just had a knock. Felt like a yellow. 
The yellows are always like duk-duk. Cod is always like one solid duk. It's a very technical word, a duk. It's that old thing about this learning your water and moving from good set of snags to the next good set of snags. Just fishing the lures in the right spots and then you will get bites. Oh, I dropped it. No. Big boil. I worked hard for that bite and I missed it. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> he ain't coming back either. So I have been working very methodically, swapping between the Dino 90 and the big spinner bait, working through all the logs, finally got that big bite and I dropped it. <laughs> now I'm going to go up and keep casting at timber, hopefully that wasn't my only chance for the day. God him. <sighs> Feels like a nice fish too. Oh. oh, look at him. What a beautiful fish. How cool is that? Very nice. Off the beautiful log. Always going to be a fish on a log like that. Here's a stunner. Beautiful fish. Bit of fight in him, bit of fight in him, and he's off. <laughs> oh, it's probably why you have a net, but I don't like nets. It's all good. Almost feels slightly yellowish, but it's got a fair bit of weight to it, which is quickly disappearing, I think. It's got to be a big yellow. No, little baby cod. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> There's the future right there. <laughs> what a little cutie. I bet you he's angry. Oh. Are you really angry? He's alright. Look at him. Beautiful little fish. Walloped the spinnerbait. Went hard early, dude, and then gave up. You ready, dude? Is he ready? He's ready. Keep on moving. I find it funny how you can go days without a bite and then you get two and two snags. They are a strange, strange creature.
<laughs> smashed it on the drop. The mega hook set. I don't think it's that big. Could be another little cod again. No, it's a, a yellow belly. Oh, that's quite cool. Nice size yellow. Can I just lift him up? Yes, I can. That's a big yellow. Get in. It's a chunk. Very nice. You can get back in. Off he goes. That time of the day. Can you do it for me, Tremor? Well, that is pretty much it. I had a very fun time. I'm gonna go down and service lure this bank and if something happens, I will let you know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it. Leave a comment and let me know. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, it is most appreciated. I'll catch you next time.